You know the stereotype that all Asians look like? Well, this may be changing in China as more and more Chinese women are altering their face through surgery. More details in this original post. Reported by the New York Times on the 21st of February, China ranked third in the facelifting industry behind the United States and Brazil. And according to statistics made by the China National Consumers Association, during the past decade there have been over 200,000 lawsuits due to botched plastic surgery. Currently, there are reported more than 2 million operations annually in China, with the number projected to double every year. Compare that with the almost 9.5 million surgeries in the U.S., according to the American Society for Aesthetic Plastic Surgery. Looks like China could catch up within the next five years. And in the same New York Times article, it reports that cosmetic and plastic surgery has become the fourth most popular way to spend discretionary income in China. The other expenditures are housing, cars, and travel. Let's now give microbloggers a chance to express their opinions. First, we have April. It's so terrible. Your body, hair, and skin are from your parents. It's better to keep things natural. The most ridiculous behavior is when someone has nothing else better to do but get plastic surgery. It's hard to say if a person who despises his or her appearance is actually sane. Some disapproving comments, but it is a reality. And although China and the U.S. are seeing an increased demand for plastic surgery, it is for very different reasons. In the U.S., the reason is for increased sexual attractiveness. According to CosmeticPlasticSurgeryStatistics.com, the most popular procedures include breast augmentation and tummy tucks. But in China, the reason for cosmetic surgery is for increased status. Listen to this comment from Water. It seems that Chinese consumption standard is quite high, and more and more rich people are starting to pursue a higher level of beauty after they have addressed their basic needs. And that higher level of beauty comes from having more Western features. Many women believe that by looking more yangqi, which literally translates to Western image, they're able to find a fancier job, a fancier husband, and therefore a fancier lifestyle. So how does she look more Western? Well, in China, the most requested operation is the double eyelid surgery. This involves adding a crease in the eyelid, thus making eyes appear larger. And see, for many Westerners, this is a foreign concept because you were all born with double eyelids. Go take a look in the mirror. And not to give all my secrets away, but my makeup artist here at BON actually uses what's called double eyelid tape on my eyes. Can you tell? <laughs> and the second most requested operation in China is to raise the bridge of the nose, making it more prominent but delicate. What's interesting about this is that if you take a look at sunglasses in any country, they're built for the Western nose, even those manufactured in China. You'll see there's often a gap between a typical Asian nose and the bridge of the glasses, as if the Western nose was already an international standard. This pursuit of a supposed higher level of beauty can be seen in the case of popular Chinese actress Li Bingbing. When Li first came into fame, she was seen as a classic, relatable beauty, and therefore she was doing commercials for attainable domestic brands like Liuxin Body Wash and FLR Shampoo. <laughs> But after she went through rumored surgeries for her eyes, nose, and jawline, making her look more Eurasian, she was soon doing campaigns for aspirational brands like L'Oreal and Mercedes-Benz, which retail in China for almost triple the price in the U.S. And just as the original post mentioned, because cosmetic surgeries are still a recent trend in China, the country's regulatory system has not kept up, causing numerous cases of face renovations gone wrong. So for the more than 200,000 unlucky patients, their pursuit of a fancier face has resulted in years worth of physical, emotional, and financial damage.